Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here from T-Sportline. Thanks again for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Founder Series logo on Cybertrucks. So as you know, on the, on the Cybertruck, the Founder Series decal on the fenders and the tailgates, it's actually laser etched into the stainless steel, which is super cool. But we know that the Cybertruck is going to get a lot of wrapping, the vinyl wrap. So change the color, do color PPF, whatever you have. And normally when you wrap a car, you can take the, decal, the logo off, whether it's a decal or it's a plastic emblem. You take it off, you wrap the car, you put the emblem back on. But on the Cybertruck, the logo is actually laser etched on. So you can see here the laser etched logo, really cool looking, but when you wrap it, you're gonna cover that up so you lose the logo. So what we've done is we have made a vinyl decal of the Founder Series logo. So we, we measured the logo on the truck, we digitized this and we created a template and we cut these out of vinyl. Now what I'm gonna show you today is how to install the Founder Series decal and then how you can actually emboss the Founder Series decal. So cool options. I think this is going to be really popular. We made these for people that are wrapping. Obviously we offer wrap services at T Sportline. We are going to have a DIY wrap kit so you might be wrapping your Cybertruck at home which is cool and now you'll have the option of retaining your Founder Series badges. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into this. We offer three versions of the decal set. So you have satin black, you have gloss black, and then you have gloss white. So depending on what you want on the truck, you've got different options for colors. I'm gonna walk through how to install these today. Uh, let's start here. So there's also a three pack. You have the two fenders and then the tailgate, which is a little bit smaller. Now these are relatively small vinyl cutouts so they're a little bit difficult to work with the, basically the smaller the cutout in vinyl the more challenging it is to work with so we're going to walk through our recommendation on how to apply these there's a lot of ways to to do this some people might use transfer tape some people might have a different method all of that could work but we we believe that what we're going to show you today is the the best chance for success so we're going to work on my MacBook here. This is an aluminum surface, very similar to the stainless you'll find on the truck, but it works out better for the video because it's right here and we can focus on it. First thing I'm going to do is clean the surface. If you were doing a wrap, you would be wiping down the truck with alcohol. Same thing here. I've actually put the decals on my MacBook when we were playing with this before, so I just want to make sure I have no residual adhesive on the surface. No different than you would if you were putting these on your truck or on your wrap or under your wrap. On the gloss film, it comes with a protective, it's like a saran wrap, and it's just on here so that you don't scratch the gloss black surface. It's really more of an issue when you're wrapping the truck, but not so much on a decal. So what I would recommend is just, just peel all this off if you're working on the gloss vinyl. And the, the stickiness of your fingers works pretty good. You can just kind of roll it off like I am doing here. I don't want one of these little pieces of protective film getting underneath the adhesive when I do this. I could see there. Okay, just be careful on the small letters because they're, they're kind of dainty. But it looks like we got it. So all of the protective covering is peeled off and gloss black will be ready to go. For the video, and for my own personal choice, I think I'm going to put, I think I'm going to go with the satin black or the matte black on my MacBook. And I think the logo is pretty cool in itself, so I'm probably going to keep it on my MacBook for a little while. But let's start with this. So we have the three decals here. First thing I'm going to do is weed, weed out the decals. And what I mean by that is let's pull the surrounding vinyl up. And this is what I'm doing, just peeling up this edge. And you can use a finger to hold down the decal. So you're going to end up with three rectangular decal sets. Okay. So now that that's peeled off, the next thing I'm going to do is peel the whole decal off, which is going to be foundation series and the perimeter vinyl. Now, again, there are ways to do this where you could use transfer tape, 
Um, but we found with these skinny letters to keep a more perfect outline and keep the letters perfectly aligned, it's better to use a little bit of the clinging of where we cut this from the surrounding black rectangle as a guide to hold the little letters. So we're gonna peel this off as one decal and not let any of the small letters fall out. And then we're gonna line it up and put it on the surface. And then we'll press it on to get all the letters sticking. And then we'll end up peeling off the rectangle. So let's go ahead and give this a go. You want to peel off the entire decal. And this takes a little patience. And what you wanna do is look in here and make sure none of the small letters are separating from the rectangle at this point. So just take your time, peel this off. You don't want the decal to, you don't wanna let the sticky side flip back on itself. So I kinda of use gravity to help me out. Use my fingers to block it, but slowly peel that off. Okay, that's success. So we've peeled off the whole decal. None of the little letters have fallen out. Now we're gonna line it up the way we want on the surface. Now this would be on your fender or on the tailgate. I'm just gonna eyeball it. If you were guiding this on your truck, you might put a guide piece of guide tape, like some masking tape on the truck in a straight line so you know exactly where to line it up. But for my laptop, we're gonna wing it. Okay, so I've got it lined up. Now I'm going to use my finger, working from the inside out, slowly push down on foundation series and tap down these little ones. You don't wanna roll them off on your finger. And then I'm gonna push them. Because I want the adhesive of the vinyl to hold these little letters down and then we're gonna peel off the surrounding rectangle. And the little letters will stay on the surface and be perfectly aligned. Okay. So now I've used my finger to press down all of the letters. I'm just double checking, they're all pushed down. And the small letters is better to tap than to slide. Now let's take the edge of the surrounding vinyl and peel this up. And you may have to use a finger to hold down the foundation series text while you pull up the rectangle. And if it starts to pull up one of the letters, just Back up, use your finger, press it back down. But you can get an idea there how this is gonna go. So we're gonna peel, we're just keep working our way. And as soon as you get to the edge of a letter, you can tell if it's peeling up the letter or just peeling up the surrounding vinyl. Just take your time. Slowly working my way around. We started with the easy part. The, the bigger letters are easier than the small series text. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear off some of this because you don't need this getting in your way or sticking to the remaining letters. 
Remember the smaller, the vinyl piece, like the little dash in the A is a little more prone to peel up, but we're doing pretty good here. And I'm gonna do the top first to get us down to the series letters so I can focus on them without worrying about the big letters. Okay, now for series, again, real slow. So I could see there the bottom of the letter started to peel up and I had to push it back on. I can see the S looks good, E looks good. And the R looking good. Okay, a little bit of the second E started popping back up, so I'll push it down. So I can pull on this a little bit too. Okay, and there, I got, the, I got that last little bit of the E to stick. And then the last S looking pretty good. Okay, I have one little spot in the bottom of the R that's stuck. And I can pick that out either with a fingernail or maybe a little pin. Okay, this is what we need, the little, the tip of our vinyl knife. Just gonna pick out that edge. One little stubborn piece of the guide vinyl, okay but we got it up. So there you have it. Looks great. Now we can go back over. We could use our vinyl felt squeegee and just double, double check, make sure it's down, but that, that is down and that looks really good. The next thing I want to show you is embossing this. So you have a couple of options when you put these decals on. You can put the decal on over the wrap, which would give you the color contrast, or maybe it's the same color and it's gonna look just like the factory logo did, or you put the decal down first and then you wrap over it, which is gonna give you a really cool embossed, like a 3D look. So let me grab a piece of vinyl and we'll lay it over the decal and show you how the embossed look looks. So next we have a piece of wrap film. This is just 3M 2080 satin black film and I'm gonna put this over our decal and show you what this would look like if you want the embossed look. So you put your decal on the truck, now you're wrapping your truck and you wrap right over your decal. And this is just gonna be a matter of working this down with your finger. We'll start kind of with a basic push down to get it in place. And then you're going around every edge and just pushing down the film, the wrap film, around the perimeter of the decal. And you're gonna get a re really cool 3D embossed look. There's nothing special to this other than I'm using the edge of my finger. You could use your felt lined wrap squeegee but you really don't even need that you can just use your finger and i'm pushing this down you don't have to worry about these little vinyl letters for foundation series peeling off because they're protected they're underneath your wrap so a pretty cool way to personalize your foundation series cyber truck okay everybody that does it for our foundation series vinyl decal intro Hope you liked the video. Make sure you drop a comment below, like the video, and subscribe to our channel. Activate that bell so you know anytime we launch new videos, you'll be ready to go.